Hi, Hi Delicious Peeps! What's, What's up? up? Sana namang video from your Delicious family! Kasama si Baby! Yes, featuring HML! HML! So guys, aware naman na siguro kayo ano, na nagsimula na yung vaccination mag-roll ako sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo, sa iba't ibang bansa. Siyempre, kasama na dito sa amin sa UK. And many family members, many friends are asking us kung nakapagpabakuna na ba kami? At kung ano ba yung naramdaman namin after? Kung nag-react ba kami or what? And in this video, we're gonna answer that question base sa, siyempre, karanasan ko at karanasan niya dahil pareho na kami nakareceive ng first dose ng COVID-19 vaccine. And para sa kalaman na rin ng iba at marami niya, siyempre, Uh, nagugulumihanan. <laughs> Naguguluhan. <laughs> Naguguluhan, nagugulumihanan kung magpapabako na ba sila or not. Nasa mga balitang lumaganap weeks ago. That's one point, ha? weeks ago na yon. But anyways, share namin sa inyo kasi mga pinsan namin, pinsan ko, mga friends and relatives back home, sa ibang mga parte ng mundo, nagtatanong ako ano yung naramdaman ko. Uh, at saan niya din, tinatanong syempre. And iba't iba naman ang reaction. But in this video, we're gonna share our own experience. Kung bago kayo dito sa channel, o hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, click nyo na yung notification bell dyan. Sabi ni HML para updated kayo kung mayroon kaming bagong upload dito sa channel. We're sharing our delicious life as OFW, as nurses, as creator, as travelers, everything, almost everything under the sun. So keep on watching and we know you will like what we've got for you. Intro! So yun nga, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Mauna na ako kasi nauna rin ako nabakunahan. I received my first dose of COVID-19 vaccine on the 25th of January. And that is from Pfizer and BioNTech. So yung Pfizer vaccine yung nareceive ko. At yun kasi yung binibigay ng hospital namin para sa mga staff. Sa lahat ng members ng staff, hindi lang staff nurses. No? Especially yung mga patient-facing or front-facing staff ng hospital or employees of the hospital. So I had mine on 25th and the recording is of this video is 3rd of February. So it's already 9 days since I had my first dose. So currently at this recording, I'm feeling okay. But what did happen after that? So I received my vaccine like 3.30 in the afternoon on the 25th. 5th of January and then wala akong naramdamang unusual so here's what happened so punta kami dun sa building kung saan binibigay yung vaccine may mga cubicles dun uh, roughly a dozen of cubicles and merong syempre vaccinator or my staff na magbabaccinate sa'yo for each cube in each cubicle and ito double check yung medication with another qualified practitioner para bago yun i-inject sa'yo so pumila dun pumila ako pasok isa isa pag turn mo na pasok ka sa cubicle then explain sa'yo kung yung mga bagay na kailangan mong malaman, mga pwede mong expect din, mga dapat mong expect na posibleng mangyari. Not definitely mangyayari, but posibleng mangyari after mo ma-receive yung vaccine. So, all those stuff. And then we were given the vaccine, the deltoid dito sa left arm ko because this is my non-dominant arm. Uh, I think 0.3 milliliters lang yon, So, napaka-konti lang nun. Parang sabi mo ng tatlo, limang patak lang yon, ng tubig. Mga ganun lang karami. At uh, napakaliit na karami lang gagamitin. But, intramuscularly, sa laman. May kakategorize mo kasi sa tatlong klase yung injection. Pwedeng intradermal sa balat, subcutaneous sa taba, next na layer, then intramuscular sa loob ng muscle. Yun yung mas malalim na layer ng ating katawan or ng ating laman. So, intramuscular yung vaccine na yun. But, since very minimal yung dose niya at maliit lang yung needle, wala akong naramdaman talaga at all. Even commended nga yung nag-vaccine sa akin na magaling siya kasi that was the first time that I didn't feel that I didn't feel anything at all. Usually, kung hindi masakit yung tusok, mararamdaman mo naman pag binibigay na sa'yo yung laman. But since konti lang yung volume nung vaccine, hindi mo rin siya masyado maramdaman. So, I was kind of skeptical kung talaga bang na-vaccinate ako. <laughs> Kasi wala akong naramdaman. Kampanting-kampante pa ako. But, as I said, nabakunahan ako 3.30. Dumating ang 6.30 or mga quarter to 7. So, nagsimula na medyo mag-feeling sore or masakit na yung braso ko. Which is ex expected naman in most type of vaccine. No? na nasakit yung braso mo. So, it was fine until it got more painful and painful as the night gets deeper. So, I was hopeful na walang mangyari sa akin hindi maganda. A good thing I was off on the following day. So, come Tuesday, I woke up. Everything is alright. I felt okay. And here's what happened after lunchtime. So, around 2 p.m. 1.30, 2pm. Yun yung parang medyo giging iba na yung pakiramdam ko. No? Uh, parang may lagnat sa loob. Alam mo yung tinatawag natin sa Pilipinas. No? Lagnat sa loob. So, parang ganun naramdaman ko. And then, yung soreness ng aking braso medyo mas tumitindi. Then napansin ng wife ko, ginahapunan pa na namamaga siya. 
At ako kasi hindi ako basta nag-iinda ng mga masasakit masasakit sa katawan. Pero nung tinatch ko siya, tinatch ko siya, medyo hard siya. Reaction yun, normal na reaction yun minsan ang katawan. Pag merong foreign body na pumasok sa katawan mo, patitigasin niya yung area, pamamagain niya. Anyways, to technical, but yes, normal yun, expected pa yun. But this has never happened to me before. Um, even sa flu jab or flu vaccine, which is I'm receiving annually. Nagsusore pero hindi na mamaga o hindi sumasakit. Pero ito, mas masakit na maga at umumbok at nanigas. So, nung makita ko, kinumpara ko yung dalawang deltoids ko, itong part na to ng ating upper arm deltoids na tinatawag. Medyo lumpy or may umbok konti siya, no? <laughs> Yun nga, medyo feverish ako ng hapon, but here's what happened on Wednesday. So, second day after gumabakunahan, uh, early in the morning, may shift ako, may duty ako nun eh. Um, nasa ilalim lang ako ng duvet, medyo nilalamig ako. And then, yung pakiramdam ko is parang I'm recovering from flu. Alam mo yung pakiramdam na tinrang kaso ka, tapos pagaling ka na. Ganun yung pakiramdam ko nun. And I think that's the mechanism of my body to cope, to handle, to accept this vaccine inside my system. Sa iba, maaaring mas malala dun, kagaya na iba namin kibigan. Sa iba, pwedeng mas less uh, serious than that. That's what, what I was feeling. And then, uh, hindi ako nakapasok kasi sakit din ang ulo ko, masakit yung joints ko, uh, mabigat yung katawan mo nga, feverish, uh, 37 plus yung aking, not, 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 hindi umabot ng 38 yung temperature ko, so okay naman siya. 37, 8 pinakamataas, 37, 5, 37, 4 usually. So, ganun yung parang ko. And, another thing, these days, hindi ako usually ina-attake ng asthma during the day. But, in that week, or like, 3-4 days, ina-asthma ako during daytime. Usually, sa gabi lang kasi mas malamig, pagod, nakalanghap, nakasagap na ako ng maraming bakteriya dumi sa paligid, nalikabok, sa gabi. Pero ito, sa bahay lang ako, pero ina-asthma ako during the day. I think 3-4 times I had to give uh, puffs of my emergency inhaler. That's Wednesday, no? Come Thursday, so third day after na nang marisip ko yung bakuna, same sort of feeling, pero better na. Temperature ko is hindi na umaangat ng 35. 37.5 and then but yung pakiramdam ko parang matamlay pa rin parang pagod pa rin kasi yung katawan ko lumalaban or sinusubukan niyang i-encompass or i-handle yung foreign object na yun yung foreign uh, element na yun sa aking body hanggang matanggap niya yun at maging normal na matanggap na maging part siya ng sistema ko so Thursday yes may asthma pa rin ako during the day na asthma asthma pa rin ako may in joint pain na bawasan pero feeling tired parang yun nga gumaling sa trangkaso. Yung headache, pag gumagalaw-galaw ako, nandun pa rin. So, medyo nakaupo lang ako kasi nga hindi ako comfortable. And then, um, inobserbahan ko, inobserba ko yung sarili ko, mga bandang hapon, tingin ko, kaya ko na mag-work na bukasan. So, the following day, pumasok ako. Friday. Friday, uh, yung mata ko naman, <laughs> parang luluha-luha na. Sabi nga nung church nurse ko, parang pungay-pungay nung mata ko. Parang tiri, parang maluha-luha na parang uh, allergic reaction. But, at uh, pinipilit ko na maging okay, hindi ko na ini-ignore ko lang mga ganun bagay as long as I'm functional, I don't mind as long as it doesn't disturb my work, my functionality, my vision and everything, I'm okay so Friday, fourth day after ng vaccination ko, soreness uh, very localized na lang dito sa area when you touch it na lang, doon na lang, doon na lang ako makakaramdam pero wala na, unlike before second day, hanggang dito sa likod ng neck ko sumabot yung pain but I'm taking things easy on Friday sa work hindi ako masyadong mabilis mag lakad ng usual kong speed na paglalakad. Yung paggalaw ko ay naalalayan ko lang kasi ayoko maging problema pa, maging casualty pa sa mga katrabaho. I'm there to be part of the team to help them out, you know, to help the patient, not to be treated as a patient, not to be pabigat lang sa team. So, that's the last thing that we want to happen. So, I was able to finish the shift. At one point, I felt really dizzy na parang nauseous ako. Uh, parang nagdilim saglit yung aking paningin. I don't think it's hunger. It's something different. Eh. Kasi if it's hunger, it's accompanied by coldness and, you know, yung alam mo yung tingling sensation. Walang ganon. So, this one, uh, dizzy ako, nagdilim konti, at parang natusukasuka ako. Nagpatulong ako sa kulig ko to check my blood pressure. It was fine. 128 over 80 plus. It was okay. And I finished the shift. Come Saturday, I took things easy as well. So, ma, some of my colleagues are saying I should have just rested. But for me, kasi, kung nag-stay lang sa loob ng bahay, parang mas lalo lang ako magkakasakit. I, I want to sweat out a little bit. I want to help my body fight this foreign element in my system. So, I think I've succeeded. Um, Today is Wednesday. I worked last Monday, February 1. I'm still not 100% there. I would say 
say 90% then I rested yesterday I was off and today I think I'm back I'm back to my full potential <laughs> uh, medyo kaya hindi na sumasakit yung ulo ko kahit mabilis yung galaw ko may normal face may normal working face uh, okay na ako ngayon so that's my experience again I was vaccinated Monday uh, felt bad in the afternoon of Tuesday felt a bit horrible on Wednesday and a bit better on Thursday functional on Friday and Saturday but still on a low face and mon Sunday Monday 90% recovered so that's it um, nothing quite serious um, as expected thankfully but yes that's my own experience and my wife will now share with you guys kung ano yung naranas naman niya. she was vaccinated when? I was vaccinated last 29th of January last Friday so five days ago I know six days ago and then yun, same process ng kay Daddy. Pumila, then naghintay ng turn, and then someone explained everything to me. Uh, kasama na rin yung sa breastfeeding kasi I'm still breastfeeding with Haven, but I stop it already after receiving the vaccine because syempre medyo ano rin ako hesitant ako mag breastfeed kay baby pero kasi ayun na rin dumede sa akin ni baby kaya nag-decide na ako na i-stop na talaga yung breastfeeding and then ayun after vaccination may recovery area na magstay doon for 15 minutes and then kung hindi ka mahihilo or anything no, toward reactions pwede kang nang umuwi after that so yun then after the vaccine wala akong ibang naramdaman Siguro mga 2 hours, 3 hours pa pagkatapos nun. Pagka uwi namin dito sa bahay, naramdaman ko na yung... Parang ano, sa akin, 2 to 3 hours. Naramdaman ko na yung parang nanlalata ako, masakit ang katawan, <laughs> mga joints. Tapos yung injection site, medyo sore din. And then, yun. That night, I felt so cold. Nanlalamig. Nanlalamig ako. Sila daddy naka-t-shirt lang, pero ako naka natulog akong naka-jacket. Oh. And then, naka-socks pa. <laughs> Kajakit na kapajama na kasak sa kahit na. Hindi naman nagino ako, hindi ko alam. Probably because nga dun sa vaccine. And then the next day, Saturday, pananakit pa rin ng buong katawan. And then, wala naman akong fever na na experience. Uh, ano pa ba? Wala na. Ito, Nagawa hindi naman nagbukol yung... na sa yan. Oo, hindi nagbukol masyado yung sa akin. Unlike kay dati, nabilog na bilog talaga. Tapos, after noon, kinagabihan, parang konting pananakit na lang ng katawan. Then, Sunday, I'm fully recovered, I think. Nagkagawa ko naman yung mga routine dito sa bahay at kay baby. Yan lang. Yun, so, ako expected ko na yun na mas kakayanin niya kasi, in general, parang based on observation ko, ano, um, mga babae, mas malakas yung kanilang resistensya. For general population, na ah, syempre, hindi mo naman pwedeng kumpara yung kagaya ko na sedentary sa babaeng atleta. Syempre, yung atleta mas healthy. But for general population, ah, mas malakas yung mga babae. Sa parents ko lang, mas madalas magkasakit yung tatay ko kaysa sa nanay ko. Ah, uh, pero pag nagkasakit yung nanay ko, seryoso na. Uh, parang nga. tayo din pala. Parang kami, ako yung mas magkasakit, siya hindi masyado. Siya, lalo na parang almost 2 years na akong uh, inactive sa activities ko sa sports. At uh, yun, um, syempre, on the scientific side of things, uh, kasi yung mga babae, dalawa yung X chromosomes nila. And X is, X is known to be stronger than Y, y, y chromosome. And sa lalaki, XY, di ba? Mm. Uh, sa babae, double X. Kaya... <laughs> Fun fact. But yes, uh, yun yung experience namin. Ano nga bang sa-isa nito? Sa'yo. Well, ako isa ka sa mga hesitant na magpabakuna. If you feel like uh, hindi kaya ng katawan mo, I would suggest uh, have a very good rest uh, a week before your vaccination. Drink healthy food. Have enough sleep. Lots of water. Uh, huwag ka masyadong magpuyat, no? Isa sa mga bagay-bagay. At syempre, maganda pagkain. Paulit-ulit ako, hydration. Yun yung mga bagay na yun. Uh, essentially, uh, kailangan mong gawin para at least ready yung katawan mo na mag-accept ng bagong element o yung vaccine. At hindi ka mag-react too badly kasi you want your body to be prepared but I am somehow confident that kung kinaya ko kaya na mas makaramihan dahil I know my health status at the moment uh, I'm not at my optimum level of uh, physical fitness I would say just 60% parang hindi ko na kaya mag-survive sa isang plane crash <laughs> parang alam mo yan hindi ko kaya humabol na magnanakaw yung mga tipong ganon hindi ko kaya humabol ng snatcher but yes um, if you feel like ikaw kahit pa paano kaya mo humabol ng snatcher pag 
may nagsnatch sa'yo, kaya mong takbuhan. Malakas ka, kaya mo yung vaccine. Just have enough rest. Huwag ka mag-hesitate. But I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But I'm just trying to tell you what I know you can do para maging handa ka sa bakuna at mabuhasan yung agony mo. No? It's a matter of preparation really. Physical preparation indeed, not just mental. And from the people that I know, uh, hundreds of people that I know, or tens at least of people that I know, online yung mga nagpo-post ng cards <laughs> at mga katrabaho ko, mga kaibigan ko. Uh, wala namang na hospital, wala namang badly uh, affected after magkaroon ng bakuna. But it's normal. I mean, almost everyone can be a carrier but not necessarily having symptoms. And vaccine could somehow give you some level of uh, protection. So it's all up to you kung gusto mong pabakuna or not. But now na alam mo na yung nangyari sa amin, maybe it can help you decide uh, to come up with the best decision for yourself. So yun lang guys, uh, yan ang isa sa mga video natin dito sa may nagtanong. Dahil nga, syempre, yung mga relatives namin, mga kaibigan nagtatanong. Dahil sa ibang lugar, wala pang bakuna. Iba, papunta pa lang. Sa kanila, pa-deliver pa lang yung bakuna. West man yan, or east. So, yun lang guys. And kung nagustuhan nyo yung video na to, help us grow this channel by giving us thumbs up. And also, subscribe ka na kung hindi ka pa subscriber ng Delicious Life. And if you want to know what microphone, what camera, what lens, what vlogging kits I'm using, I have the links in the description below. Uh, Siyempre, yung channel ko rin Jay's Lux, kung saan marami kayo matututunan when it comes to tech. Kung meron kayo tanong, drop nyo lang sa comment section below. Uh, binabasa ko yung lahat, binabasa namin yan, at sinasagot kong kailangan sagutin. Isa nga pala sa nakalimutan ko, if you are a mom na nagpa-breastfeed, okay lang yung vaccine. Safe siya sa breastfeeding. But uh, you have to check, uh, kasi depende sa brand yan. Dito sa, mm. dito sa UK, meron na kaming four brands, I think, available. Uh, Pfizer, uh, Nov Nova Vaccine yung pinakabago, uh, AstraZeneca, or AZ. Um, you have to uh, do a research uh, online on reliable sources dun sa mismo pharmaceutical company na gumawa noon or reliable studies from real reliable entities. Hindi yung mga post-post lang nung sa Facebook or whatever. And please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to subscribe as well sa Mom's Haven. <laughs> yeah, so yun lang guys. Sana may nabulot kayong maganda rito. But of course, always remember to share a smile. And spread the love because, because life is delicious. delicious. We'll see, see you on the, the next one. one. Bye! <laughs> Bye! <Bucky. laughs>